Okay, hi guys. So hari ni I nak share dengan korang one of the NFT blockchain game which is Illuvium. So I just pergi Google and search Illuvium and tekan this web page and it will direct dekat you Illuvium punya main web page or if you korang nak uh, go to their website korang boleh uh, tekan link yang I provide dekat description dekat bawah. Okay, so this is um, Illuvium web page which is new uh, cryptocurrency game lah I boleh cakap. Um, game ni dia tak uh, launch lagi but then because it's still dalam development tapi um, you dah boleh beli the token just tak boleh nak start fight and gaining lah. Okay. Um, Dekat sini, if you nak um, have a deep reading, you boleh pergi dekat diorang punya main web page and click learn more and go to the white paper. Okay, so it's very important for you guys untuk faham and uh, baca diorang punya white paper because dekat sini korang boleh faham uh, pasal game ni, pasal token tu and uh, bila development dia apa official website untuk uh, exchange the cryptocurrency apa semua sebab sekarang kita tahu kan uh, banyak scammer dekat luar sana yang copy link apa semua apa semua tu uh, ok so it's very important lah untuk korang go through this ok but it's, um, it's ok for you guys yang uh, tak berapa macam malas nak baca kan dekat video I ni I will explain lah pasal what paper pas, uh, about this new game Okay, uh, game ni game Illuvium. So, korang boleh nampak kat sini, it fight for ETH. And we go through one by one lah start daripada. Okay, kat sini dia cakap lah full uh, decentralized RPG and collection game built on the Immutable XL2 network. So, nanti kita akan ada uh, Immutable X network which is dia akan... Um, gas free or something kalau pergi dekat diorang punya main web page and dekat sini dia cakap say goodbye to you guys we enjoy a new era of NFT and thanks to integration with the immutable X okay zero gas fee for peers to fear peers trading so maybe dekat sini diorang akan um, buat macam you tak perlu bayar the gas fee untuk peers to peers trading because some of the exchanger dia kita kena macam bayar dia orang punya gas fee every time we trading or kita transfer wallet ke wallet macam tu. Okay so um, introduction so I takkan baca the full of the information kat sini but I just nak highlight dekat korang benda yang penting-penting. So um, about this game, diorang macam ada uh, world diorang di sendiri macam kalau kita ni earth, dunia kita ni earth but untuk dunia diorang dia panggil Illuvium. Okay so Illuvium ni adalah satu dunia yang mana akan ada Uh, a beautiful land and wonder macam tu. Lepas tu dekat situ akan ada dekat dalam dunia tu akan ada pelbagai jenis binatang macam kat sini dia cakap dangerous beast. Lepas tu um, kita uh, kat sini kita boleh tangkap dia orang untuk dia orang uh, untuk di beast lah untuk monster ni fight dalam arena. Ataupun kita boleh trade via the exchange. So, dekat dunia Illuvium ni akan ada monster. Monster-monster ni and kita boleh tangkap monster ni untuk kita trade via exchange. Ataupun kita gunakan dia orang untuk battle. Okay. So, um, the game ni dia akan pakai ILV token. So, um, apa itu ILV token? ILV token tu memang specifically untuk this game. So kalau korang tengok kat sini um, Sekejap uh, I think Dekat sini dia tak ada explain sangat Tapi kalau korang nak Tahu pasal this token You can go to the market Market cap Okay market cap I ada Provide link juga dekat description So you boleh tengok The link dekat bawah And you just tekan search and you search for the 
ILV Okay, Ilvin token So sekarang ni the token dah ada dekat marketplace Untuk cryptocurrency But then uh, just game Illuvium ni tak boleh nak start main lagi Okay, so kalau korang tengok dekat sini Illuvium sekarang satu token ILV ni Bersamaan dengan 2.2k Like macam Wow, it's so expensive Compared to dengan harga SLP kan sekarang SLP harga untuk kalau main Oxy Infinity lah tak sampai seringgit pun. So I rasa game ni akan like one of the top crypto currency gaming lah. So ILV, we go to the ILV. Okay um, and dekat sini dia cakap tengok the graph it started with like 200 something and now within like a few couple months dia dah um, reach about 2.2k okay. kalau dekat sini harga 200 ni is April to 2021 and ni dah ya August dia dah naik sebanyak ni tapi game tak launch lagi tau so if you nak baca what is Illuvium apa semua ni dia ada explain dekat market crypto ni dia cakap Illuvium ni is an open world fantasy battle game built on the Ethereum blockchain so dia memang akan pakai Ethereum blockchain lepas tu dia ada cakap lah dekat sini um, ada creature okay uh, but then uh, I will explain dekat you based on reading pasal dekat white paper ni Okay, so um, this page, uh, dia ada terang lah apa tu uh, explain dekat you NFT game. So, you boleh baca dekat sini. So, I just nak explain dekat korang yang the highlighted part. Okay, ini best part. Okay, this is the game overview lah. So, dekat game overview ni akan ada a lot of like, uh, it will explain dekat you the whole part pasal game ni. Okay, so kalau... Dekat game ni, uh, introduction ni, um, you, okay, you take the role of survivor of transport vessel in the interspace fleet ni, when you finally reach to, okay, ni just explain je dekat kita, um, okay, so ilu vial, so, um, Macam saya cakap dekat korang awal-awal tu kan um, Dunia diorang ni kita panggil as Illuvium This is Illuvium So makhluk yang ada atau monster yang ada dekat bumi Illuvium ni Dia is called as Illuvials Okay So Illuvials ni dia macam uh, Beast yang dah kena radiation And then dia mutated apa semua And dia hidup dekat dunia Illuvium ni Illuvium Illuvium ya yeah. So, um, beast-beast ni dipanggil as illuvial and then they are like hundreds illuvials to be found and you boleh kelat dekat diorang punya dunia tu. Okay. Lepas tu dia cakap lah dekat sini, um, apa tu, the monster ni akan based on infinities or classes. So, nanti kita akan go through the next point. And then dekat sini juga dia akan cakap um, Illuvia are stronger when working as a team in battle arena So make sure to collect synergizing pairs to maximize your chance of factory So Illuvia yang you collect tu You boleh gunakan diorang untuk battle dekat arena Okay And the difference synergy uh, Synergy create different bonus of 15 Or yang ni dia just Cakap uh, Pasal dia buat the battle Oh kat sini fusion Fusion uh, Means tak you boleh macam kahwinkan kot Macam uh, Breakkan dia Antara beast yang beast yang you dapat tu And you gonna form another illuvials Faham tak? Okay uh, I rasa kalau dekat page ni um, Yang best juga You boleh tengok dia orang punya uh, Trailer So I akan tunjuk dekat korang trailer dia orang the, the trailer pun sangat wow
Wow. Itu baru trailer dia orang tahu tak tu game dia orang lagi. Saya rasa kalau game dia orang tu memang confirm memang like meletup gila. And if you nak follow community dia orang, you boleh pergi dekat Discord dia orang, Telegram dia orang and also Twitter. So this is Twitter dia orang and you can see that YouTuber <laughs> Geki Jan pun follow and you tengok almost 50k followers dekat Twitter and I rasa macam like this game is really havoc ok so we continue baca diorang punya white paper so macam you tengok dekat diorang punya um, trailer tadi you akan nampakkan illu vials dekat dunia illuvium diorang so dekat sini dia cerita jugalah pasal infinities ni infinities ni um, dia cerita pasal the group origin of illu vials themselves ni dia ada um, elemen diorang sendirilah so macam de- uh, dekat uh, illuvium punya dunia ni illu vials ni ada lima elemen uh, which is water fire earth Air and nature okay. And then uh, dia ada cakap lah kat sini The most powerful uh, Ascended form uh, Affinities With two element which is Frost air plus Water uh, kalau macam Element um, Illuvials ni yang dah Combine lah macam Air dengan water ni dia kind of Strong element sikit And then Kat sini dia just cakap lah uh, but in a combo with a severe disadvantage choose wisely. So kat sini just explain je ada lima elemen uh, dalam dunia ilu, uh, ilu VM ni and then uh, dia orang punya power-power tu depends on elemen-elemen tu juga. Okay, this is the classes. Tadi kita tengok macam jenis keturunan dia orang and then this is the classes. So classes ilu vials ni it is group into five classes which are fighter, guardian, rogue, patience and also empath. Okay. So um the choice ni of ilu vial yang you pilih is based on regarding of a classes diorang sendiri sebab classes-classes ni dia akan impact or effect you punya battle ok uh, and dekat bawah ni dia just bagi contoh kalau macam stronger classes ni is bila um, patient plus patient lah macam tu ok the next one dia cerita pasal ilu fiery tu sendiri so um People landed here. Okay, ni dia cakap one, one of your people must have landed here a long time ago. Inside, you will find an index of every illo vial found across the illivium. Okay, dia just cakap lah macam uh, salah satu orang daripada kita ni mesti pernah landed dekat dunia diorang ni beribu tahun yang dulu and then kita akan macam find um, jumpa illo vial ni across diorang punya dunia which is illivium. Lepas tu dekat sini um, dia cakap lah you it just might be the key to unlocking the mystery of illuvium. Okay and then I rasa this is tak ada key point je. You just okay this part how do I play? So macam mana you akan main kan the game kan? Okay start by customizing your character. Lepas tu you akan ada build you punya own character sendiri and then you select your um fully for fix subordinate drawn then select like, yang ni i tak sure drawn apa and once you and your site key are ready you can then head out to explore the various region of the world okay so you are the character you sendiri and then you akan pergi dekat dunia diorang and you akan explore dunia diorang lepas tu dekat sini you akan encounter you akan jumpa ilu vials dekat dunia illuvium ni and you kena fight for it. Okay. So dia cakap kat sini you boleh tangkap ataupun subdue them pakai shot. Shot to snap them up so that your they gonna be yours permanently. So bila you pergi fight dekat dunia illuvium ni you kena pakai shots. Shots ni untuk you lawan illuvium yang you jumpa dekat dunia diorang and once you boleh snap diorang ataupun tangkap diorang, diorang ni akan jadi pengikut you or macam akan jadi milik you lah macam tu. Lepas tu 
dia kat sini dia cakap je lah Shad ni is ada uh, pelbagai level of power So kalau nak tangkap ilu via yang power Kena pakai shad yang power sikit lah macam tu Nanti kita akan uh, Nanti I akan explain dekat korang apa itu shad So um, Okay For players just starting out Okay kat sini just explain Awal-awal ni player baru You akan boleh main uh, free shot Okay kita boleh Uh, mine of uh, shots ni for free. Lepas tu kita uh, boleh tangkap lah capture some of the evil wire ni. Tapi uh, kita maybe uh, boleh mine free shot yang tak power sangat. Faham tak? The powerness tu tak power sangat lah macam dia cakap kat sini. Okay. And then they are pain, but you will be able to get started in the game without any expense and learn the mechanic. Okay, dia, dia buat macam tu sebab dia nak suruh kita uh, explore pasal game ni and then kita faham mechanism dalam game ni. Sebab tu dia bagi kita free untuk kita mind the shots. Okay, um, dekat sini dia cakap dekat dalam dunia Illuvium ni dia akan ada banyak region yang kita boleh explore. But most will be inaccessible to the first generation ex, uh, of player. So first generation of player ni maybe dia takkan boleh explore more of uh, most of the region sebab maybe some of the region tu still dalam development. Okay. Mm. Oh dekat sini dia ada cakap juga over time player ni akan unlock obelisk which allow uh, player untuk travel ke dunia yang baru ataupun new Beautiful challenges and important region that come with new illuvial to better and collect. So, kalau you boleh unlock obelisk ni, you boleh travel ke region yang baru and then tangkap illuvial yang power dekat region yang baru tu. Okay, so I rasa macam sangat best kot pasal ni. In game purchase, so benda yang you boleh beli dalam game ni, first kali you kena tahu it's based on the Ethereum blockchain. So memang dia akan pakai ETH lah. So kat sini dia cakap ETH akan digunakan untuk pembelian dalam game ni. And then, dia uh, fee tu of course akan the charge fee for every each of the pembelian and it akan directly masuk ke dalam Illuvium Vault. Ke dalam uh, macam like Uh, simpanan uh, Illuvium lah punya community So dekat sini you boleh beli Shard, uh, Imbus Wagering Battle Illuvium Revival, ini untuk medical Fees, Obelisk Travel Yang ni macam saya cakap Obelisk ni kan kita guna untuk kita pergi Dekat region-region yang baru So uh, ini benda-benda Yang kita boleh beli dalam game ni lah And the name and the Orang panggil Nama-nama ni quite familiar tapi once you mind benda ni I rasa you akan faham kot. Oh and game ni dia lebih kurang macam Dota juga dia punya feature sebab dia ada cakap juga dekat sini. Okay adventuring. Okay so for some players the draw of the game will be travelling across the world and collecting the vial. So uh, uh, adventuring pasal game ni is you akan cross the world and then kerja you nak collect Elvial je macam tu And then as a more and more Found this script capture rate Will change because it is for type To the number that we catch this thus far So rate uh, Capture tu maybe Akan berubah dari masa ke semasa Sebabkan number Of the apa tu Illuvia yang ditangkap tu kan Mesti makin increase day by day kan uh, Macam tu lah dia akan cakap kat situ And then, okay, the difficulty to capture Illuvial ni will also grow. So, maybe makin lama kita cari Illuvial tu kan, makin lama mesti kita akan jumpa Illuvial yang kuat-kuat. Uh, so, mesti makin susah untuk kita tangkap Illuvial sebab Illuvial yang yang tak kuat sangat ni dah ditangkap kan. Faham tak masa saya? As you adventure and encounter Illuvial in the wild, you current team including yourself will grow in power. Okay, so makin lama you adventuring the dunia, makin power you akan gain in your team lah macam tu. Okay, ini adventuring lah. Ini part yang bila you uh, 
cross dia orang punya world you tangkap dia ilu via okay the next part is better arena okay better arena ni is other players we choose to better each other to prove that who is the superior hunters contoh I player one dengan player two ni I rasa macam I nak fight dengan player two nak show which one is the um, the superior hunter yang macam lagi kuat faham tak so This player akan queue in the rank arena and then diorang akan randomly match. So, I could, takkan tahu my opponent. And then, uh, bila uh, and call out other player. Lepas tu, kat sini you akan fight with each other. And maybe you akan guna Illuvaya yang you tangkap tadi untuk fight in the battle juga. Uh, macam and see which one lagi power. Lepas tu, Illudat. Illudat ni is the Illuvium Exchange. So, nanti dia eh, dia macam marketplace. So, apa-apa you akan beli dekat sini. So, kat sini dia just cakap the Illuvium Exchange is online marketplace and is governed and controlled by Illuvium DAO. Untuk players yang nak beli and jual dia punya NFT, dia boleh buat dekat sini. The major of the Illuvium deck is the trading of Illuvaya but the all in the game can be traded that but all found in the game okay so dia just cakap kat sini any Illuvaya yang you jumpa dekat dunia dia orang you boleh exchange dekat Illuvidak ni maksudnya Illuvidak ni kan tempat marketplace dia orang so binatang-binatang yang korang tangkap tak di let's say korang rasa macam um, tak nak pegang dah binatang tu korang boleh jual dekat marketplace di, dia orang so memang akan ada value lah okay Mining and harvesting. So, dekat sini, kejap I nak, in addition to storage and during the battle. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, dekat sini dia cakap, your sub uh, ordinate drone is not just a good looking gadget. In addition to storage and as during battle, also capable of mining. Oh, okay. Dekat dunia diorang ni, you boleh juga mining and harvesting diorang punya mineral. Macam contoh, uh, dekat sini, uh, you boleh cari shards, gemstones yang untuk guna uh, dekat weapon korang. Macam tu. Yeah, and increase the equi your equipment lah. Ataupun you boleh uh, jual dekat Illuvidax. Dekat dia orang punya marketplace. So, Illuvium is also littered with trees that produce various alien fruits and pulsate with energy. Harvest this to create enchantment for your Illuvium to nest them. Oh, okay. Dekat sini dia cakap juga dunia Illuvium ni ada pokok-pokok, ada buah-buahan. So, you boleh kutip pokok-pokok ni, buah-buahan ni untuk bagi makan dekat Illuvaya you. Uh, supaya diorang boleh gain energy balik lah macam tu ok this one dia cerita pasal shard what is shard so kat sini dia cakap shard is very important dalam game ni sebab you akan guna shard ni untuk you tangkap ilu vial ni ok so player will be, be stock with a few before venturing into dam you can mine dam from deposit but you always want to make sure you have something available in case you Okay, kat sini dia just cakap yang you akan ada uh, some deposit stock uh, de dengan you untuk you tangkap the illuvial ni. Ataupun you boleh mine diorang from deposit. Tapi make sure you akan, uh, you can mine them from deposit. Hmm. Tapi make sure that you ada lah, you jangan guna semua yang... Dia bagi tu sebab in case kalau you nak tangkap rare Illuvaya kan that time. Uh, you kan kena ada shards ni kan. So jangan macam habiskan semua shards tu lah. Sebab maybe kita akan jumpa rare Illuvaya ke apa semua. Macam tu. Okay kat sini dia cakap. Like most element in the game. Okay kan element dalam game ni uh, ada lima jenis element kan macam saya cakap tadi ada air, water apa semua. And untuk shard ni dia pun ada variety of tire based on the power at capturing the Illuvaya. So shards ni pun ada power-power dia sendiri. So kalau lah the stronger the Illuvaya, makin strong Illuvaya yang you nak tangkap tu makin banyak uh, power of shards ni yang perlu digunakan. So kalau you you tahu yang uh, Illuvaya yang you nak tangkap tu 
kuat Kalau you pakai shot yang tak power sangat So rugilah shot you Sebab you memang akan confirm Kalah macam tu Ah <coughs> uh. Okay, the next one is weapons. In Illuvium, it's not just the Illuvial that can fight. Okay, dia cakap lah dalam Illuvium punya dunia ni, bukan Illuvial je yang you boleh uh, fight. You also, you as the player character get to fight in the battle. Wilding futuric weapon that can be equipped with gemstone, that store and hands of to emit. Oh, okay. So, dalam uh, Illuvium ni, bukannya Illuvials you je yang akan fight. Maksudnya lawan. You sendiri pun akan lawan. As you akan ada your own character lah. Macam kalau you tengok diorang punya uh, apa? Diorang punya tra- trailer tadi kan akan kan ada seorang perempuan tu. Uh. Perempuan tu dia mewakili as player. A player macam tu. So dia kan help the Uh, Illuvial untuk fight juga in the battle Macam tu lah So kat sini dia just cakap je Your choice of weapon also determine your class Which give additional benefit to your team Lepas tu ah uh, weapon ni You can be so on the Illuvidax Ilu- juga Bukan you Illuvial je boleh jual dekat Illuvidax Illuvidax ni As saya cakap is orang punya marketplace Okay um, Armor Armor also for Forge from item my only armor is your defense. Okay, armor ni is you punya defense lah. If your armor becomes too damaged, you may need to wait until it regenerate. However, your choice of armor can sway the battle. Okay, choosing the right one for you and your team is one of many. Okay, so tadi ini you you punya weapon. Apa yang you nak, maybe you nak pakai pedang yang ada gemstone ke apa Armor ni uh, perisai untuk you punya team And then the next one is Imbuse, a cosmetic chain that can add value of the Okay, Imbuse ammonia in nature can be applied to it Or you may decide hmm. Imbuse ni macam cosmetic change Yang akan add value dekat player collection Ini I tak sure sangat by few further differentiating their acquisitions from others so i rasa imbus ni macam you punya team code in your in every each of a player yang boleh macam distinguishkan between each of one player dengan player yang lain macam membezakan antara satu yang sama lain macam tu okay so Okay, despite the habis and Okay, ini just addition side and addition game in the future macam tu. So, kalau dekat sini additional side ni um, They just cerita pasal apa yang kita uh, we are, While they will be advised to discover we are going to stop that Okay, macam ada banyak lagi lah benda yang diorang akan add on In future, I rasa. Okay, ni dia just cerita pasal uh, game engine ni pakai apa. Most of the coding is coded in C++. Yeah, I rasa memang best code. This is DOE governance. So, DOE ni akan control the ELUV duck. Diorang punya market pace. So, you boleh have a deep reading dekat sini. But, I think nothing special pun. Okay, tokenomic. Ini I nak cakap dengan korang sebab Actually kan token ni kan dah terjual dekat marketplace kan. So dekat sini distribution of the token and it is just limit dia ada value of limitation lah. Maksudnya kalau macam certain of the token tu you boleh harvest or mine them with infinity. Dia tak ada hard pun of the unit yang ada. Kalau macam game ni dia memang ada hard dia like 10... 10 million macam tu and then it stop. Faham? So sekarang dia baru distribution dia Preset, set, team, treasury and launchpad So yield ni maybe time kita kot Untuk kita harvest the token Okay and uh, Kejap lah Dia ada cakap juga Ini pasal Hmm Okay, tokenomik. Okay, 
Okay, so preset ni macam dia cakap our preset say was used to fund aggressive growth of a core contributor. Okay, ni macam kira dia perlukan duit untuk dia buat development and dia offer lima ratus ribu ILV at one dollar. Wow. So, habis dia jual and then seed sale. Dia jual 1.5 thousand uh, ILV dengan harga tiga dolar and the rest of the pool ni dia bagi untuk dekat team, treasury and also launchpad. Okay, and then dia cakap juga promo of NFT reward at the end of the bootstrap, uh, the amount of ETH used for all purchase convert to the point at a rate of 1 point per ETH. So kat sini this point, uh, any purchase tu kita boleh convert the point rate and then kita boleh guna point tu untuk reading promo NFT. So best juga pasal benda ni. Okay, roadmap. So, ni roadmap ni you boleh go through here and see what is the progress of this game. So, kalau you tengok kat sini, dia dah initiate the prototype at the end of the 2020 last year. Lepas tu, dia ada cakap juga kat sini yang um, auto battle trailer ni tak keluar lagi but akan keluar bulan ni ataupun bulan depan. Lepas tu, maybe mobile release ni akan launch in 2020-2022. So, korang just get ready je. Tapi I rasa mesti mahal sikit kot game ni. I tak sure sebab dia cakap uh, game awal-awal tu dia akan bagi free untuk you try and then kalau you nak rasa macam nak uh, increase the power, you boleh belilah I need item macam tu. Tapi I tak boleh macam get the figure lah macam how does actually the games look like. Okay, so marketing in Luvaya marketing strategy is a two-stream approach covering two major audience base that com defy and mainstream. So, okay about the team. Yang ni paling best sebab you boleh tengok dekat team-team dia orang ni. It's not orang biasa-biasa tau. Macam co-founder ni macam uh, dia pun main uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. So, but then I rasa oh, macam tengok co-founder and game designer. Like, dia orang punya background like so power, like bukan biasa-biasa buat game ni. So, I rasa macam dia orang put a lot of energy, time and also effort to make this game. So, I rasa dia akan hit the market gila-gila lah, I rasa. And, you tengok dia punya trailer pun sangat cantik kan, grafik dia and so on. Because like, most of the um developer yang apa tu get involved in this game this game ni macam bukan daripada orang biasa-biasa uh. and I suka, I suka sebab dia orang ada lead animator juga dalam uh, team dia orang which is game animator ni Alexandre kalau korang tahu dia ni yang working with Marvel project dia buat cerita macam X-Men lepas tu dia yang macam uh, work on cerita Transformer, Adventure, Guardians of Galaxy sebab tu kalau korang tengok feature of this Elevio game ni sangat havoc gila ok um, I still I rasa I dah cover all this part tapi I macam nak tunjuk dekat diorang yang diorang cakap macam mana you how do I play how do I play Okay, there are many regions to explore. Okay, um, the cat main page during you, you guys boleh register. So any of the current like uh issues issues master, you can through direct email the cat korang, and then. Um, hmm. And untuk invest, you either boleh pergi this uh, platform of exchange. Staking, you boleh dah start rasa nak uh, invest, you dah boleh invest apa semua dekat sini. But I won't go, deep, go deeper and I maybe akan cover for next of my video. I just tunjuk like overall. Community, you also can join dia punya Telegram, Twitter and so on. Uh, 
Okay And kalau korang Nak cari kerja Diorang pun ada job opportunity Yang diorang open Kat sini Hmm Mana tahu korang boleh try like korang And I think that's all for me Thank you for watching And if you got any question You boleh just drop down the comment below And yeah Um, by the way, I just nak cakap any um, game or blockchain game ni yang involve cryptocurrency is based on your macam risk. You need to take your own risk. As I cakap, cryptocurrency ni dia high risk by high return. So, make sure that korang have a deep learning or have a uh, macam buat research dulu lah pasal satu-satu game before you get yourself involved. Okay, bye. See you next time.